Bonjour! Long time no see! Oh, is that you, this? With the babies? Bonjour! Oh, is that you, buddy? Oh, is that you, buddy? I missed you guys! Uh, well, you know, I've been uh, super busy last week with uh, that job I had at Foodex, so I couldn't live stream. But the good thing is that uh, I got uh, lots of samples of, uh, you saw the picture of uh, wagashi, Japanese sweets, and I have to taste those. I started actually uh, this weekend, and um, so there are two or three missing, but um, I still have plenty, so I'm going to be able to show you what type of uh, sweets people enjoy here. And I think the babies want to go on the sofa, so I'm going to put them down. Voila! Okay, so... Um, I got uh, lots and lots of things. You saw the picture. I think these were like with those flowers, flower things. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's probably some... Um, um rice pressed rice with some flowers on it so this is uh kudi cucumber can you see the cucumber flower voila i didn't know a cucumber could make flowers sumile sumile is uh well if you say i don't know how to say that in english but it's, uh, you know, that uh, violet we say in French. Uh, yamabuki, some um, mountain flower, and then, you know, other flavors. Voila, potato. Okay, so I don't think they put, maybe they, the, the flower sometimes doesn't have any link with the taste, but uh, voila, these are really light, kind of senbei, you know. Uh, maybe I can taste this afterwards. These are really refined <laughs> stuff, I think. Huh? Um, and they came into a box like this. So there is, you know, when I was at the food fair, this maker uh, asked me if I could taste many of uh, its products to see what, as a foreigner, I think might work in France, for example. So I can't, sometimes I can't see all the comments, but um, you won't be able to taste it, but uh, the aspect, maybe you can give me your input about the aspect of uh, those things. So what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to show you, we have, I also have boxes, I have Wallaby Mochi in boxes, but I'll taste that. Afterwards, I'm going maybe hold on a second to show you the um, the stuff that I have here. This is a wallaby mochi. Wallaby mochi. These are some um, dango balls. Let's see. I'll open it later. We have, uh, I think I'm going to start with this. This is some uh, sticky rice with um, flavored with sakura, cherry blossom. This is cute. I like this stuff usually. So I'm, I will start with this because it usually has a delicate taste. I think this is some kind of jelly. I like the presentation, you know, it's like a bamboo. It's a plastic, but it's like a bamboo, you know. Voila. Uh, here, I think this is... Uh, they said that this was some yuzu uh, manju. So it's probably filled with some um, kind of paste, bean paste, maybe. This, I have never tasted. This is like um, a manju, but it's been fried. So it's um, it's a little bit, I think the taste must be a little bit uh, strong. Here we have another, that's a classic. It's some uh, 
mind you you know it's filled it's mochi filled with uh, red beans and red bean uh, red beans paste and at last we have uh, lastly we have this um, this is some coolie some um, marron how do you say that i forgot this is some paste chestnut this is um, some kind of chestnut cream not cream but you know like paste it's a little bit um, it's hard you see voila so <laughs> let me put this back there voila and let's start the tasting so i'm going to start with the um, sakura thing let's see if i have yeah it's rice it's steamed rice apparently sakura rice cake they call this okay, i'm going to put this here they call this sakura rice cake it's wrapped in cherry blossom leaf and uh, there is um, the flower of uh, the sakura, the cherry on it. Here. Ah, cute. That's, this looks nice, huh? So I'm not going to eat it all because uh, it will be a lot. Voila. Let's make it nice. In a nice plate. Voila. And uh, let's taste it together i know the taste usually because that's one of the wagashi i have when it's in season this is the season now yesterday at the news they said that uh, cherry blossom is going to start uh, at the end of the month so well it starts um, earlier in some areas but uh, it's a little bit sticky and i think there is some uh, red bean cream inside yes voila. can you see you have the cream inside the rice on the outside and the leaf and flour sakula leaf and flour bon appetit that's my breakfast yeah it has this uh, distinct um cherry blossom smell it really smells good itadakimasu mm. 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 this is good i could i could eat the whole thing if i didn't have more to taste but let me have another that was a small bite so i need to taste mm, mm. very good it's i think it's difficult to describe those sakula based um sweets because it just have a distinct taste and you if you've never tasted it obviously it's difficult to imagine how it tastes like but it's very delicate and um, it has yeah I think the flower it more than the fruit it tastes more like a delicate flower maybe in our, your country sometimes in with the food you can eat you know in salads or in France sometimes we put um, flowers so that's I think the closest taste now that I have had that, I feel like tasting again. I'm going to show you the chestnut. I'd like you to see how thick it is. I got those on uh, Friday, so you have to keep it well wrapped because this paste, because it uh, hardens. Hold on a second. I have some cherry leaf on my um, fork. So can you see it's kind of a thick 
it's not as hard as butter but you can see that it's pretty thick here and this is chestnut cream and it really smells what I like about this chestnut paste it is that it really smells like you know when you boil chestnut that smell it's exactly the same smell and apparently they try to make things pretty naturally they don't put too much they don't put additives when they can do without it so this is the real stuff i think mm. <laughs> so no um this is not so wrapped in mochi this is only chestnut chestnut cream mm. this this is good okay i want to keep on eating this but uh, we have lots of things to taste together so here we had a classic you must have seen <laughs> i can see it that was okay until the third the the eighth of uh, march it's okay i think you know you can uh, i always I, I i don't really mind about you know like also for example dairy you know even a week after i can i consume it because we all know that they put an early date to really make sure that people don't get sick but also in japan the date that they put it's um for the taste if you go if you eat the thing after that date the taste might uh, change this is why they put those uh, you know um, how do you call that those um, valid uh, the valid time you know until what day you can eat it so this is uh, i don't remember how this is called this is a kind of i think a daifuku is that yeah here so i think this is a daifuku so it's daifuku it's a mochi a mochi wrap and this one i believe is uh, some uh, <laughs> it's not clean i'm eating in the same plate and guys we are not um, this is like making a demonstration we're not in a third uh, star restaurant voila better um voila expiry date thank you guys um yeah the red bean um paste it's called anko you are right so this is a daifuku so this is anko red bean paste but i can see some big bites on top of it i'm going to cut it um daifuku is also you know very common and especially this kind of daifuku now i think the ichigo daifuku that i did not get this time but i could get at uh, in a shop buy it and taste it with you but honestly these days i'm tasting so much so many sweets that i must say i'm a little bit you know it's just too much and i don't want to waste the food right so i don't like to taste and just take a bite and throw away the rest of it but um that's probably what I should do, but I can't. So I'm just, my intake of sugar these days is really too high. So he, here is the inside of the daifuku. This looks nice, don't you think? It's really full of anko, the red bean uh, paste. Merci, Kipi. Voila. And the texture, you can see it's uh, pretty soft. Voila. Yeah, I could give it to John if I'd meet him, but we are both very busy, so... Mm. It's... <laughs> Can you see? It's like a cushion. I like that. The mochi and the red bean. Itadakimasu again. Mm. Mm. <laughs> This is good. It, re it really has a 
all this stuff it has a natural taste so this is nice this was daifuku when you come to japan you will find in many areas especially if you go to the you know like uh, shinjuku shibuya all the big areas but also in small areas there are always wagashi asan uh, wagashi um, shops daifuku is one of the <laughs> you make me laugh guys uh, Wagashi, uh, no, Daifuku is one of the classics, okay? And uh, yeah, if I can get, I should eat the Ichigo Daifuku before the season ends, the strawberry Daifuku. This is so, so good with the strawberry, you know, the sweet, the strawberries are sweet here. They are usually, you have to get the strawberries produced in Kyushu. And they are so sweet. We don't have um, strawberries that sweet in France. And inside the mochi, this is so good. Okay, so that was the daifuku. Let's keep on doing this thing because how many minutes? Okay, 15 minutes already. And I tasted only three. Okay, now we still have, I'm with the round um, things. I'm going to have, this is yuzu. A manju, yuzu. So manju are those around um, wagashi, Japanese sweets. Sorry guys if I'm not super energetic. <laughs> like I think I'm more a genki usually, but I'm still I still have not recovered from my week of work at Foodex last last week. Like Saturday, I slept all day. Yesterday, I had to work again um, to catch up with work, you know. But I'm still, you know, half. My brain is uh, still uh, half asleep. Oh my, this is. This is the fruit. Look. This is a yuzu fruit. Yeah, my panda, I named her Rosie. Rosie, you missed uh, some uh, posts on uh, Instagram. Huh? The yuzu is uh, trying to escape me. So it's been cut on the top and they filled it with, maybe this is some um, white, let me see, do I have, yeah. This is uh, some jelly. A, this is bean jelly inside. Let's try it. I'm going to keep the cap um, of it to be able to cut it. Voyons, can you see it? Okay. Alors, this table is getting messy. Allez. Alors, let's cut it. Mm. It's, I think, uh, the yuzu, the citrus. It's a Japanese citrus that is uh, very, I think, uh, popular abroad too now. Um, I love, look the, in the, at the inside. It's really way, well made. Um, Yuzu is really popular in France too now and uh, even in French cuisine some chefs use it and I've always loved it so let's try it Bon appétit again mm, it smells so good if you like citrus fruits like lemon everything I love lemon grapefruit etc I love a yuzu too Mm. This tastes like yuzu. Mm. The bean inside, you can't really feel the taste because mm, the yuzu really takes over the white bean 
flavor so it's really like you're eating let's say mm, soften soaked uh, yuzu and it's really good i mean this especially you know when it's a uh, summer and so hot indeed it's a very light and um, freshening uh, sweet i think <laughs> i need um i should have made myself some um i don't know it what they soaked it in i'm sorry um i should have made myself some green tea with that wagashi it's really the best match for green tea you know those are it's just they are they were meant to meet you know so um, it's a little no it's not salty it's uh, it's really it really has the citrus like flavor voila so that was the um, yuzu um, wagashi now we are going to open <laughs> Let's see those boxes. We have two types of wallaby mochi. I think I'm going to have. Ah, I hesitate. No, I think I'm going to have this first. That's a pity to open it. I should give it to my friend. I'm meeting a friend tonight. I'm going to have um, to eat Italian. Yeah, okay. Um, no, but I need to show it to you. So, and I need to taste it anyways. So, I took the paper off and you can see the jelly inside i'm not sure what kind of jelly this is it doesn't really smell i'm not sure how okay there is a little something at the bottom maybe i have to if i take this off ah okay Ooh, look 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 it's well made see voila out from its jar alors maybe this is some matcha looks like a matcha jelly so you know the texture of jelly right i'm not really into jelly i must say <laughs> no i don't think i can put it back in you know when you when it's out you have to eat it don't let me use this uh, knife it's all sticky now let's get it wow this is really soft allez matcha jelly Attends, i have their hair the baby's hair are like all over the house so i th this must be matcha jelly let's try it yeah it this is matcha it smells like matcha mm. this is so soft mm. good matcha it um, really melts in the mouth oh my god this it's so soft can you see it's you, you don't need to mount it mm. Mm, this is uh, interesting this is actually better than the jelly i usually see because the jelly i they usually sell is pretty hard and i don't like that that texture but this one is really soft and it melts in the mouth right away so it's it, it's kind of good actually but i should really have made myself a um green tea i'm thirsty now okay let's uh, try the wallaby mochi do you know wallaby mochi uh yeah it's uh well i mean if if you think this is uh, this looks good even if you're on a diet then sorry about that but because you know sometimes people are like oh my god this doesn't look good but if you find it uh, appealing then i'm happy okay we have the first wallaby mochi 
the expiry date is until today, so daijoubu, all good. But that's a lot. Huh? I hope my friend, she, I need to give her some tonight because this is too much. Voila. I should, uh, we should do um, meetups uh, when I get samples somewhere in town and you join me and we taste it all together. So walabi mochi, I learned a word today. It's bracken, bracken, bracken starch. Bracken maybe, you know that, uh, <laughs> that thing. <laughs> and this is lighter, Voilà, c'est ça, bracken root starch cake. This is uh, lighter, maybe, maybe some of you have eaten mochi before, and mochi is really, you know, like sticky and it takes time to munch it. Wallaby mochi is really, it, it's, it melts in the mouth. It has this kind of, this jelly-like texture, but, um, it's really soft, like the jelly I just had. Oh, I should have used this, um, the jelly. It came with uh, a little, uh, let's use this with the wallaby mochi. You know, they like to use uh, this kind of little wooden, like big toothpicks. Voila. First time I'm saying voila today. <laughs> I know I say it a lot, but, uh, it enables me to, it, it, I may, in my head, I can make the transition to the next uh, thing I'm going to talk about. This is why I say voila a lot. Alors, the wallaby mochi, let's have it with the Japanese style. Um, attends. Up. Don't look at the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of le leftovers. Look at this. Doesn't look nice. La. So it has, uh, you know, the roasted um, soybean powder on it. Can you see how, you know? It's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to, I need to study English again to be able to describe those things. I've been telling myself this for, since I started doing YouTube, but uh, I, I've been busy, so. Let's try the wallaby mochi. <laughs> it's dancing, it's going to dance in my mouth. That's a big mouthful, so I'm not going to be able to talk for 30 seconds, I think, okay? Bon, bon, bon appétit! Mm. Very good. Mm. Yeah, funya funya in Japanese. Mm. I love wallaby mochi. I've always loved wallaby mochi, and I've ha I haven't had wallaby mochi for some time. But this is so good. I simply love, you know, the um, so roasted soybean powder. This is so good. If you ever come to Japan, you really have to try wallaby mochi. Wallaby mochi is also, you know, even other wagashi. If you go, if you don't have too, uh, if you don't have much time, one place you definitely have to go is a department store. You go to the depachika, uh, the underground floor where there is uh, all of uh, the food. And you will be able to find all the wagashi, sushi, everything you want to taste. And um, wallaby mochi is also, there is always a uh, wagashi place that makes uh, wallaby mochi. Highly recommended. Uh, okay, so I have, this is wallaby mochi too, apparently. Wallaby mochi. And... Uh, 
Okay, so if you can find those in your countries, I think in France too, now it's starting, um, those are starting to be popular. We have another version here. I'm not sure, maybe it's just a smaller size, but also it looks, this Wallaby Mochi, it's, uh, it looks, uh, it doesn't look soft. Unless it's it's getting really old. <laughs> Hold on a second. Getting worried all of a sudden. No, it's good uh, until uh, tomorrow. See, so different shape and different uh, texture. This one is hard. This one is thick, right? This one is hard. What I'm going to do is cut it in half because... Um, yeah, ah, oh! it's good I cut it in half. There is a surprise in there. There is some anko in this one. That's the difference. So that's the first time I'm having wallaby mochi with anko, um, red beans paste inside. Let's try it. Hmm, interesting. Tadakimasu. Mm. Yeah, this is good. Mm. <laughs> this is good, but to me, they should not sell this as wallaby mochi because the um, I just love wallaby mochi so much that if it's written wallaby mochi, yeah, baby. If it's written wallaby mochi, I expect the wallaby mochi taste, right? And it doesn't come out that much, the wallaby mochi taste. So this is good stuff, but to me it's more like uh, dango. The um, anko taste is uh, stronger. So yeah, uh, Lisa, she's been missing me so much last week because I was like, here basically just to sleep so like every morning or i mean at dur at night because i was waking up at 4 30 every morning she was she was wondering why i wasn't i was waking up so early and uh, why i wasn't home at all so but she got a haircut a month ago so she's not uh, chewbacca anymore Okay, so no, this is too sweet for you. We have two last things. We have um, kibi, kibi dango. Kibi dango. So I think this must be, uh, isn't it some sweets uh, like um, um, kawaii? The, yeah, the umaibo, I, have, I haven't ordered that. I'm curious about that uh, chocolate umaibo. Ah, this is new. Okay. Uh, until when is this good? Okay, end of the month, so all the good. Maybe this is uh, some kind of sugary thing. Like, I mean, more, maybe they are using more sugar, not sure. What is this? Kibidango. Let me see if I can find some explanations. Hanami dango. No, I don't find any explanation. Ah, this is some mochi. Very kawaii. Very cute. Look at this. So this is soft. Too. <laughs> I think like guys when I am done with this tasting don't talk about don't talk about wagashi for a month because uh, honestly I, I will be done with it huh? okay let's try it doesn't smell it smells just of the powder the flour on top of it Mm. Sticky, mochi. 
it's not filled with anything this is not uh, just a mochi this is good it's not too sticky so easy to eat mm, this is uh, <laughs> not super tasty this is just you know the taste of mochi so I should actually have started with this because uh, it's the le it's the one the wagashi that has the most plain taste but uh, you know the the purpose of those wagashi is to balance the bitterness of um, um, green tea because some green teas can be pretty bitter so the sweets even if they are not super tasty the sweetness balances the bitterness of the um, green tea and i forgot yes we have this dango here too it's tanuki manju so manju usually sorry guys i have a, let me see i have a kafun show <laughs> do you know kafun show my nose is running because I have an allergy to the, I think it's the pine flower. And there is, it's, it's been uh, the Cafuncho season for something like two months now. So sometimes I get really get a runny nose in the morning. So the Tanuki, Tanuki is uh, the color, it's the fox, right? So it has the Tanuki color. Voila, and I can take care of my nose. Let's see what's inside. It must be... Ah no, sorry, no, tanuki is not the fox. Tanuki is the tanuki, ne? Sorry, sorry, you have the um, drawing of the tanuki, you know? He brings luck and protects that animal that protects the people and brings luck. Can you see it? Tanuki, voila, raccoon, thank you. <laughs> so, tanuki color. Oh my, that smells. It almost smells like a roasted coffee beans. This is a pretty strong smell. It looks like um, the outside is like some, you know, our type of. Um, not pancake, but you can see that this is not mochi. This is some kind of, uh, uh, you know, like cake-like stuff filled with lots of red bean paste. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. I think this stuff is uh, deep fried. Okay, there it's written oil fried bean jam bun. So I think this is why uh, it has this uh, kind of, uh, you know, roasted flavor. This is really good. All these are really good i wish i could finish them but this is not possible i think i'm going to finish this with uh, some coffee actually this will be the end of my breakfast and lastly i'm going to show you yeah we tasted it all we have uh, this um it's uh, some kind of sendi so it came in a box like this voila nice box and uh, you know this is the kind of uh, stuff that people they they make present with it um yes good idea i'm going to give this to my friend tonight because she is a very refined person so i think this is so her image thanks for the tip but i need to taste one right so let's see if i hold on a second which one do you say? Okay, let's do this. Uh, we have these three. And let's see these three. 
which one should I taste? I think Sakura. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tasting the Sakura Senbei. <laughs> Charlie's looking at me. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> she never stops. Alors. Even before tasting it, I'm feeling like maybe I will feel like having a beer with this. You know me, right? What do you think? This is so pretty. I should have taken a picture. I don't have my other phone now. So let's break it. Voila, we oui, rice cracker. Mm. <laughs> this is not this is not um, mm. okay the taste is really light so um, I should have tasted this at the beginning mm. okay because I still have, you know, the taste of the other, I, my mouth is still full of the sweet taste of the other stuff. But yeah, this is good. It's like, um, it's not as tasty as those, uh, you know, um, AB rice cracker, uh, AB crackers that you have, uh, the shrimp crackers that you get uh, at uh, Vietnamese or Chinese restaurants. But it's kind of the same, it's pretty similar the texture mm. it's not um doesn't have a very strong taste huh? it's so pretty <laughs> tasteless i must say it's good but like you know i should i should do another live stream tasting only this when my mouth is not full of all the sweets i had before Okay, so um, do you have any questions? Yeah, uh, okay, I saw some comments about doing a show uh, with John, Sakula, etc. I'm not sure because, you know, um, oh, there he is, uh, because we are both very busy, but um, why not if we can make it? You know, sometimes we don't plan in advance, so. Anyways, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, with uh, Lisa, who's here, thanks for joining and uh, hopefully this week I can do more uh, live streams. I can go back to my uh, live streaming routine and um, she smells so good. She, she, she smells better than all those uh, wagashi. And um, we can share some more uh, food adventures together. Okay, thanks for joining. See you soon. Merci. Mwah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay.